Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to use the Cyberpunk Photoshop action. Before we get started, let's view a few examples. So this Photoshop action is fairly simple and very easy to use. It'll just transform your image color grading to a hot pink and bright blue neon cyberpunk style. So you just need to open your image and run the action and you will get something like this. So this action works with Photoshop version CS4 and any newer versions. This one also works with any language of Photoshop and works with any image size. And if you have images of Asian cities with bright neon signs and if you have rain added to it, it gives a really good result. So here is another example. And this action also generates 10 alternative cyberpunk color effects that you can toggle with just one click. Along with the cityscapes, this one also works really good with portraits. You will get something like this when applied on the previous image. Let's see a few more examples. In the pack, you will also get two bokeh overlays that you can add onto your final composition to create some drama on the finished image. Okay, let's jump into Photoshop and let's load up the action and we'll apply the action on this image. Now, before getting started, we need to make sure a few things are set correctly. First, go to image, mode and make sure RGB color and 8 bits per channel is selected. Next, click this flyout menu and go to panel options and make sure use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy layers and groups are checked. Next, as I mentioned before, this action will work with any language of Photoshop and you need not to rename the initial layer as background or anything else that you might see with other actions. You can keep it whatever you feel like and the action will handle the rest. Now to load the action, you simply need to go to file, open and navigate to your download package. There you will find the Cyberpunk Photoshop action along with two bokeh overlays and one help file. Simply select the Cyberpunk Photoshop action and click open and it will load up into Photoshop. Now you need to bring up your actions panel. You can bring it up simply by going to window, actions and you will see that Cyberpunk Photoshop action has been loaded over there. Now here we have our main cyberpunk action, we need to play this and after that we can run any of these modification actions to fine tune our image. So you just need to select the main action and hit this play button. Wait for some time for the action to finish processing. Done, here we have our cyberpunk neon look. I'll zoom in a bit so that you can see in details. Now before going into all these layers that are generated over here, I'll quickly show you what these different modification actions do. If your image is dark, you can simply select this increase brightness and you can run it. It will brighten up your overall image. Now you can run these modification actions as many times as you want to keep performing this operation. Like if you want the image to become brighter, you can simply keep playing this action and it will keep on brightening up the image. And same goes for this one, you can keep playing it to darken the image or reduce the brightness of your image. You can also use this modification action which will reduce the blacks but will not brighten up your overall image. Let's run it and let's see if you can see any difference. It will try to tone down the blacks so that it gives a more flattened look. You can also run this one if you think your image has bright white spots. You can run this multiple times to tone down the white areas. Okay, with that done, let's see the different layers that we have over here. So at the very bottom, we have a backup of our original image. You can simply hide the cyberpunk group and your main image will be visible. So this one is just a backup of the cyberpunk effect. Before you run this modification action, you can refer it to any time that you feel like. So this was originally created when we first ran the action, but after the modifications, it looks something like this. Next, we have this chromatic aberration. You can turn it on to get a neon glitchy effect or a chromatic aberration. Here we have a vignette layer. 
You can always go inside this gradient fill by double clicking the thumbnail and change the settings from here. Next we have 10 alternate cyberpunk color effects. You can simply show them by toggling the visibility on and off. Then we have our place bokeh here, placeholder layer. So what you can do here is you can simply go to your download package and you will find two bokeh files over there. You can simply drag and drop them and make sure they land here inside this place bokeh inside this group. And then you can transform them, adjust as you feel like and click this tick mark to commit the changes and you will see a nice overlay is added to your composition. Let's add our second bokeh overlay. Let's resize it a bit and let's keep it like this. You can obviously add your own bokeh or light clicks or light streaks as you want. You just need to place them inside this group. You can also adjust the opacity of this group if you feel like. Also you can adjust the opacity of these individual elements. Next we have our overall adjustment which just has basic adjustment controls like brightness and contrast, curves exposure selective color you can go inside the selective color to manually control the different colors if you want just like this and we have gradient map if you want to add some more mood or drama to your overall composition and then at the very last we have our hue saturation control Next I'll run the action on a different image and show you the result. Let's bring up our action panel, select the main cyberpunk action and let's play it. It'll take some time for the action to finish processing. And we are done. As you can see this image is a bit bright so we can decrease the brightness by playing this modification action. Now let's reduce the blacks a bit. And I think we are done. Now let's uh, select our place bokeh here layer and let's add the different bokeh overlays. Let's increase the size. Let's keep it like this and click this tick mark. Let's try putting the second overlay. Please feel free to add your own overlays and experiment and get unique results. That should be good. Okay, so that's all for the cyberpunk photoshop action, hope you like it, I'll see you in my next video and till then stay creative.